Do you think um, knowing or learning how the sausage is made ruins the magic of the actual experience? Like you as a neuroscientist who studies the brain, do you think it ruins the magic of like love at first sight? Are, are you, do you consciously are still able to lose yourself in the moment? I'm definitely able to lose myself in the moment. Is wine involved? <laughs> Not always. Chocolate. I mean, Chocolate. some kind of mind altering <laughs> substance, right? But yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, I guess what I would say, though, is that um, for me, part of the magic is the process. Like, so, uh, you know, yeah. so, so I remember a day there was, well, I was working on this, on this, on this book of essays. I, I was in New York. Um, I can't remember why I was in New York, but I was in New York for something and I was in Central Park and I was looking at all the people with their babies and I was thinking every, every, that each one of these, there's a tiny little brain yeah. that's wiring itself right now. And I, and I, I just, I felt in that moment, I was like, I am never going to look at an infant at, in the same way ever again. And so to me, I mean, honestly, before I started learning about brain development, I thought babies were cute, but, you know, not that interesting until they could do th interact with you and do things. Of course, my own infant, I thought was extraordinarily interesting, but, right. you know, they're kind of like lumps. That's, you know, until they can, you know, interact with you. But they are anything but lumps. I mean, like, I, you know, so, and part of the, I mean, I, I, all I can say is I have deep affection now for like tiny little babies in a way that I didn't really um, before um, j because of the, I'm just so curious. But the actual process, the mechanisms of uh, the, the, the wiring of the brain, the learning, all the magic of the neurobiology. Yeah. And, or, you know, something like, you know, um, when you make eye contact with someone directly, sometimes, you know, you you feel something, right? Yeah. And- um, Yeah, it's weird. What is it? And what is that? <laughs> yeah. And so, so to me, that's not, um, that's not backing away from the moment. That's like expanding the moment. It's like, mm. that's incredibly cool. You know, when I was, um, I'll just say that when I was, when I was in graduate school, I also was in therapy because it's almost a given that you're going to be in therapy yourself if you're going to become a therapist. And I had a deal, you know, with my therapist, which was that I could call time out at any moment that I wanted to, as long as I was being responsible about it mm -hmm. and I wasn't using it as a way to get out of something. And he could tell me, no, you know, he could decline and say, no, we're, you're, you know, you're using this to get out of something. But mm -hmm. I could call time out whenever I want and say, what are you doing right now? Like, what do you, here's what I'm experiencing. What are you trying to do? Like, I wanted to use my own experience to interrogate um, what the process was. Mm -hmm. And that made it m more helpful in a way. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't think learning how something works makes it less magical, actually. But that's just me, I guess. I don't know. Would you? Yeah. Uh, yes. I tend to uh, have two modes. One is one is an engineer, and one is uh, romantic. And I'm conscious of like, like the gear. Like you like. There's two rooms. You can go into the one, the engineer room, and I think that ruins the romance. So I tend to. There's two rooms. One. Is the engineering room, think from first principles, how do we build the thing that creates this kind of uh, behavior? And then you go into the romantic room where you're like emotional, it's a roller coaster, and then you're uh, the thing is, let's take it slow, and then you get married the next night, that you just this giant mess, and you write a song, and then you cry, and then you send a bunch of text and anger and, and whatever, and somehow you're in Vegas, and there's, <laughs> random people and you're drunk and whatever all that like in poetry and just mess of it mm. fighting yeah yeah that's not those are two rooms and you go back between between them but i think the way you put it is quite poetic i think you're much <laughs> you're much better at adulting uh with love uh than uh than perhaps i am because there's a magic to children i also think uh, like of adults as children it's kind of cool to see 
it's a cool thought experiment to look at adults and think like that used to be a baby. And then that's like a fully wired baby. And it's just walking around pretending to be like all serious and important wearing a suit or something. But that used to be a baby. And then you think of like the parenting and all the experiences they had. Like it's it's cool to think of it that way. But then you, I start thinking of like from a machine learning perspective. But once you're like the romantic moments, all that kind of stuff, all that falls away. I forget about all that. I don't know. That's I mean, the Russian I, thing. 